quilt, the circle quilt, just because it has circles on it and I'm just not very good and very clever at coming up with names. You piece the block, it's a nine inch finished block and it's a five inch circle that's appliqued. You can use any method you want to applique. I always use the heat and bond light because I just like how it stays in place. And then I'll show you how I attached it to the block. So if you look, you can see very little, very narrow zigzag. And I used the thread color that matched the circle so it blends in really well and you can barely see it. Here is what it looks like from the back. The block is just strips of fabric pieced and I'll show you how to cut this to get the diagonal look. And then the block, the circles are just appliqued. And I first put them, them together, it, I had them block to block and they just didn't look right. So I added these sashings and cornerstones and this fabric ended up being a lot lighter than I wished it had been. I, I would have chosen a different fabric but I had already pieced them all and it didn't really look that bright until I put it all together. So if I had to do this over again, I would choose a, a lot less white fabric here, more, more towards the gray color probably. But anyway, I, I thought the sashing would tone down the white a little bit and then it was too dark in this center here. So I put some of the white here to kind of bring your attention away from that. But it seems to work out right. It looks pretty good. Another thing I would caution you about if you're going to make this quilt, you can see in some of these, this yellow one, you can see that it's shadowing through here. You might want to be careful of the fabrics you choose to make the circles because you'll want it a little bit darker or put something behind it so it won't shadow through. I'll just go over the instructions really quick. Here's the picture of the quilt and it finishes 65 by 85 and here's a picture of the block. It's 9 inch finished and you'll need to make 48 for this quilt. I included a circle template if you're going to cut it out by hand and it's supposed to be 5 inches with a quarter inch seam allowance but you might want to check the size when you print it off to make sure it's the size you want. You can use this if you want to cut your circle by hand. I use the AccuQuilt die and it's the number 55012. It has a two inch, three inch, and a five inch circle on it. All the fabric requirements, there's four different fabrics, and then your assorted fabrics to make your, your little circles. Next, we'll show you how to piece this block. You're going to cut strips and sew them together like this, matching the centers. And here's what it looks like finished. These I press the seams open and it looks a little wonky but I didn't quite get all the centers matched up. Let me show you how to cut this down now to nine and a half inches. You can use any square ruler that you have as long as it's nine and a half inches or more. I'm going to take the markings with the ones together and put it at the top. Line up this diagonal line down the center of the ruler with the center line on, on the white fabric or the light color fabric and then move it up till you have your ruler is covering all of the fabric here so when you cut it off you won't have any you know you don't want to put it up here you want to make sure your ruler is covering all fabric and then you go to the nine and a half mark and let me put a piece of paper on here so I put this piece of paper at the nine and a half mark just to show you because you want to make sure that when you hit the nine and a half here and the nine and a half here that you're covering all the fabric before you cut it. So let's see here. We're going to cut this like that. Now you're going to turn this around. So you're going to match the nine and a half inch line here and here and then let me fix that a little bit and then you're going to line up the diagonal line with the seam line here and then make sure you have fabric on all the sides these two sides that you're going to cut off so 
So there is your block. When you take your circle to applique it on there, you just kind of, I just looked at it and made sure it looked it look centered. And then I fused them on here and then I did my zigzag stitch all around it. Mm -hmm. 